So today we're going to be working on our DNS three month position. So uh, there are movements you can do with this, but I really like this as just like an isometric hold. So what I'm going to have Angela do is pull her chin back. There we go, into the back of her spine here. And I'm going to use, have her use the elbows to push her chest and ribcage away from the ground, uh, keeping her glutes fairly relaxed. We don't want them squeezing and doing all the work and pulling her body upright. Um, and then we want her to engage her core, making sure that that is really connecting from her elbow all the way down to her pubic bone, um, that whole chain of muscles and fascia. Um, and you can actually turn your knees inward like this, um, and truly rotate your hips to help relax the glutes. So from here, I just want her to hold this position and breathe. I forgot to mention that when you're setting this up, we want our ears to line with the elbows, so she's already doing a good job of that. And just, I like to hold this for about five breaths, um, no longer than 10 breaths, uh, otherwise we start getting into um, muscular endurance, uh, and we're really more focusing on um, kind of teaching the motor pattern of this. Um, and yeah, and typically at that point we start to see fatigue and um, form starts to fail, so um, that kind of defeats the purpose. So um, you can relax. And that's pretty much it. Again, this isn't uh, anything too crazy. Um, if you can hover the lower ribs off the ground, that's great too. But if you can't, that's also okay as long as you're still activating the same way, engaging the core. Um, all the way from the anterior chain, all the way from your elbow down to your pubic bone. So that's been the three-month DNS uh, position. Uh, prone, uh, let us know if you have any questions.